like, wait, so they're the archangels, they're feminine too? Like, wait, what? Archangel Gabriel, speak your truth. Thank you, Gabriel, for helping me to speak with integrity. So when you when I speak in such a way, I apologize, you know, I didn't mean to just upset you. Like, I'm not upset. I'm speaking with authority over the bullshit that you're trying to serve me right now. What? And once we once this is handled, I'm gonna go back to singing and singing in the rain and everything else. Okay? So that's what we got. And we're gonna have this to file right up under this orphan. Speak your truth to this man, aka Roger Davis, of how you truly have felt that he chose to try to continue to keep you as you were an orphan child. That's what spirit is telling you. Things are going to line up in your life for you to do just that. Right. All right. Now, athlete. Let's see what angel is going up on the athlete. Start working with different spreads. Get back on your abundantly healing therapist channel and keep it going. That's why I try to tell you. Nothing is going to grow if you don't water it and prune it. Mm -hmm. And love it. If you don't nourish it and love it, it ain't going to grow. Okay. Bam. Spirit is telling me that this one goes right along with this orphan card. And we have unconditional love. Unconditional love. I told her for her to see Roderick as a little boy that's lost in emotions. Observe him. Read his energy. And then you'll realize, like, wow, you're just like a teenage boy trying to figure out yourself. Wow. So when you are operating in spiritual maturity, it will allow you to see other people's archetypes and not become, not let their shadow aspects become your biggest enemy. Because you can understand those shadow attributes, right? Right. Exactly. So that's this unconditional love. So unconditional love is understanding how the divine feminine, okay, gives this type of a unconditional love by accepting all your shadow selves. So think of it as me as your mom. Whatever you feel that you might do to disappoint me, no, I love you. So if it's something that's a burden to you um, in your life moving forward and growing, then my, my job is to show you through examples of what I go through right. so you can be like, wow, my mom did it. So that, that even goes deeper to say how Jesus is actually was here to just show you the way. Right. Okay? Not saying that it was meant for you to become a fanatical, you know, Bible thump, you know, you're sinners and all that shit. That's not, because that was, the, was that what Jesus did? So you have to understand that even through religion, it can become a burden to your spiritual growth if you don't know how to take from it what you need. And keep on moving, don't stop, no. Keep on moving. Okay? So it says, thank you, Divine Mother, for helping me to give and receive the love that I deserve. So you are going to be this Divine Mother of five children and giving them this unconditional love because you're going to understand their shadows. Because you've been doing your shadow work right now. Right. Tap into it. Like I said, go on your own personal channel. Miss Diva. Get ready to change that name and get ready to change the game. Okay? So that's what we're going to do right here. That's just for orphan child right here. Okay? Yes, thank you, Spirit. So for athlete, we got live your joy. <laughs> Didn't I say what? That paintbrush to that, that canvas, that is living in your joy. That is... Paint, I'm here in spirit say, paint your pain. I'm here in spirit say, paint your pain. And love again. I'm hearing this. Thank you, angels, for supporting me as I follow what bring, you bring me joy when I'm down. <laughs> Y'all know we're going to do this song. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. When I lose my faith, when I lose my weight, whatever, let's get the words. Hold on. You bring me joy. Okay, let's get the lyrics. Yes, come on, come on, come on, Ashley. 
You get your phone. What you doing? Okay. She tripping. This is an opportunity for us to get in, get in, and get these get these vocals from the these vocals for the gods. <laughs> okay, he says, "You bring me joy when I'm down. Oh, so much joy when I lose my way. Your love comes smiling on me. I saw your face, and then I knew." <laughs> no, we're going to be off key because we trying to learn the words. I was so afraid, but you asked, they say, come, come to me. me. Yes. So I say to you, can <laughs> we talk a while? See you, girl. You say it's all right. It's known as when she goes, when you love me. Yeah. I can't I know like that. Yeah. <laughs> when you love me, I'll smile. I feel your heart and you feel mine. You bring me joy. My joy. But can this be right? Oh, and should we be friends? I give you. And I mix my pocket. Finest thing I've seen in all my life. You bring me joy. My joy. <laughs> yes, yes. And I thank you, baby. Thank you, baby. You bring me joy. That's Spirit is saying that's your song. For to let it be known that this night is coming to bring you joy as you keep on working on yourself. Hello. So we got let's let's see what's what else we got on the athlete. And look, see she jumping for joy, <laughs> jumping for joy. <laughs> yes. Y'all, we don't really know. Y'all saw it. That's the one. Spiritual support. Spiritual support. Didn't I try to tell you that the angels are on our side? They they got our back. And they we have ancestors of the darkness and ancestors of the light. And all the earthly beings, angelic beings here, right here, all around us. So we have a I'm hearing a army of of ancestral forces around us and china told you they don't want to play with us spiritual support dear angels i allow you to support me as i grow to become more spiritually aware an athlete is doing what growing stronger for the race let's get into it baby yes and see i love it when i be obedient with actually listening to what card spirit want me to use and how they turn it into these different spreads that really really work because they are divinely guided okay so for the monk and the nun let's see what we got this is talking about selfless devotion and single minded dedication to spirit don't let nothing deter you away from your north star signs from heaven signs from heaven didn't I tell you them synchronicity go ahead Go ahead, speak, child, speak. <laughs> speak to me. So, I was, it was one day. I think it was the other day when um, when I was sleeping here. That the day that I just like came over, I sat down and I was just like, I was supposed to say go to sleep, but I was out of yes. And so I knew I was dreaming. And then all of a sudden, it's like I heard like a little kid's voice, but it was a like a like a, a girl. Yeah. It was like a, a little girl, and I heard them say hello, like as if they was like trying to get my attention. Right. I was like, I woke up like, and it 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 literally felt like it was my child, like. Trying to te telepathically speak through the <laughs> like wow signs from heaven yeah so that's beautiful like, I 
was like, and I woke up, I was like, maybe that's something she's playing on too. Ooh, like this. So that was Savannah trying to yes. say, Mama. Because it was like the most. And think about it, under Monk and Nun, you've been having a celibate lifestyle. So this is to let you know this night is coming in. We're going to pull one more card. Spirit said I want to do five of these archetypes. We got one more card to pull up the night. Signs from heaven to show you that you not getting out there with the rest of the world and dropping it like it's hot and twerking it up. It's showing you that this night is going to come and give you his cup of love. Okay. Whoa, Archangel Uriel. Shine your light. I t I've been trying to tell you. I've been trying to tell you. I told you, study the North Node lunar, the, the lunars, your North Node specifically. Specifically, because what you want to do is um keep your head to the sky. You want to always keep your mind focused on your higher self. Right. Developing your higher self unleashing the darkness within you in order that it can merge with your higher self and you can establish that wholeness of mind body spirit okay it says thank you uriel for helping me to share my light with the world share my life trust in me girl trust it was the in me that i had pulled for the spiritual as well today. yeah and it said something about let me go Okay. And it's raining, y'all. It's raining, man. Hallelujah. Because the night card is coming up next. It's raining right now, y'all. Never knew I had such a lesson to learn. I'm in my, from my head to my shoes. Know where I'm going and I know what to do. I got up my point of view. I got a new attitude. So, we got your two cards for night. Ooh, didn't I say he ain't no killer, but don't push him. Peaceful warrior. Didn't I say <laughs> he ain't no killer, but don't push him. He don't play by his family. And what? Connect with music. <laughs> yeah, look. Connect with music. Yeah, what you got? So she be doing her little homework. She do be on her stuff at her desk when, you know, she got downtime from training. And it said to connect with music. And then she pulled it again. Okay? Under the night. And y'all are going to connect. Remember I told you that y'all going to be dancing. Y'all going to be real goofy with each other. <laughs> now go ahead. What you said you got? Okay, so I pulled three cards from the spiritualist fuck deck. And the first one I had got says... Grab your own butt and love yourself. <coughs> okay. <laughs> it says whatever type of butt you have, you you're a complete psychopath if you can't see the butts of all kind of super fucking awesome. Look look around at all butts of the world: big butts, teeny tiny butts, jiggly butts, orangutan butts. <laughs> Grab your butt right now. Aren't you lucky to be the kind of animal that gets to have a butt? Yes. You are very, 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 very lucky. So that was that one. To me, that's talking about loving yourself, accepting your body, loving the skin you're in. Yes. And then this is the one I was talking about with the shine your light. This one says, the womb is the place where the light enters you. Mm-hmm. The womb? The womb. Woo-hoo! Go ahead. What would it be? The oh the womb. Yeah, like a scroll wound. The womb okay. is the place where the light enters you. Yeah, five 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 on the clock right now. I was like, that me. I was like, I gotta definitely read what that was <clears throat> So it says, pick one time in your life where you've been hurt and ask how it made you go. Did it make you more tender hearted? Did it open you up where you once where you was once closed down? Mm. Did that heartbreak lead you to more connection with spirit? Mm. Can you get a little teensy tiny bit grateful for it? Yeah. Fuck yeah. Look at you. You're like a wounded disco ball inside. <laughs> like, with the music. So Make the so music, me. yes. With a your mouth be. disco ball. Like, yes, that's mm. exactly what it is. And that's why I was bringing it up about the whole job situation to say 
you can look at somebody and see their flaws. Right. But you can also notice it and realize how with you it can make you better because you embody that same uh -huh. that same type of thing. Mm-hmm. So I see somebody that like, you know, she just always have a bah humbug look on her face. But you can tell that it's just like what life it's just like shit is just so unfair. Right. And it's just like she just it, it, it's like she still wanna put her best foot forward. Right. But it's just still like she just pissed off, she's just angry, like why why did this have to happen? When am I gonna start winning? Yes. When am I, I gonna like, see the fruits of my labor? I was like, I can understand that attitude as well, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Then but it was this one girl that was just like, This that shit that my mama be talking about. <laughs> like, you know how you kinda like light hearted and you 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 the light. The, the, you the, the light the, the, the You the light ball, right? of the party. The disco ball. And you talking to one girl and it's like, you know, y'all have a million other minds. Like, you know, y'all y'all keeping the conversation mm -hmm. going, like y'all bouncing with each other, you know? And then you start talking to her, this other girl, and then it's like you too much light. And you too bar humbug that you don't want to get out of whatever the mm -hmm. situation is. So it's like, oh, okay, well, yeah, yeah, I think I'll try that out. But, okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. And then I'm noticing how other people that she's talking to, because they might got the light and they, they got the, 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 mm -hmm. the jungle gym in there too. So mm -hmm. they like, you know, they want to go mm -hmm. back and forth with the bouncer. Mm -hmm. like, F me, know? F me. Yeah, right? Mm -hmm. And then it's like she bar humbug with them too, like... Oh, yeah, cause, I mean... But here's the thing, here's the real right. lesson in that is you cannot allow somebody else's <clears throat> pain steal your joy. Yes. And in that order. In that order. So, we gonna end out with a good old song. Oh, a spirit told me to pick her last chord. Oh, yes. And we gonna end out with a good old song. Yeah. So, she need to think of the song. But it ain't quite she thinking it's gonna be something for vocals. <laughs> True. <laughs> okay, here's our fifth fifth archetype card. And I'm loving how it works hand in hand with these. I told you this Kyle Gray. God and light, uh, angels of the God and light. I mean angel prayers. I love it. Okay. Our fifth and final card for this psychic intuitive counseling session. Also, as a mom and daughter powwow collab, damsel. Didn't I tell you this man was going to take care of you? Didn't I tell you that this night is coming in with a couple of? And that you need to be this damsel. You know what I'm saying? And oh my God, I've been so stressed. Oh my gosh. Oh. You really need to tap into your femininity because you've been operating in that masculine energy of do right all time, woman, woman. Now you need a do right, honest man. Damsel, understanding the nature of healthy romance. I told you, start of a romance. How could this be? Stun a romance. Taking over me. <laughs> he said, inspires you to rely on yourself. The shadow aspects of being the damsel is waiting for a knight to provide for you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. I can't make this up. My spirit team is wickedly excellent. So what this is saying is you have been I'm here reversal of fortune. You have been doing it all. You have been carrying all the burdens on your back. Now spirit is going to show up and show out. And I'm seeing bags on bags on bags on bags on bags on bags on bags. Shopping sprees. I'm seeing, you know, uh, uh starting all over again. And, 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 and it's, uh, it's, it's like the radio station keep changing. The radio station keeps on changing because it's like the love affair you're going to have with this night. It's just like that. There's no music that y'all can't dance to. You understand? Okay. And it said right here, waiting for the night to provide for you seduction by romantic illusion. So in other words, a woman, a woman is only truly sought after by 
the king of keys. <laughs> the only, this woman will not realize her worth. For, 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 okay, so how can I put this? See, it's all of it coming out. I'm telling you, it's like, this is the reason for this, 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 this distortion or this disconnection feeling. Because you're trying to get back to your first love. So what spirit is telling me is you're on a twin flame journey. Wow. Wow, spirit. They was trying to do everything. You said I kept changing the channels on music and everything. I'm like, no, 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 hold on. Go back, go back. Start from zero. Start at one. So when you start loving yourself, accepting yourself, turning up in that mirror like, hey girl, looking at your reflection, that masculine aspect of your being will start seeking you out in a fleshly earth being. So you are on a twin flame journey. This is the damsel in the night because it's literally showing that you know how to take care of yourself. You know how to get it. You, uh, hold on, pop, pop the hood. I think the carburetor blowed out. Try one, try one time. And the husband is the one in the damn car. <laughs> and he our baby. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, baby, you sure right. Okay, okay, try it. Froom, froom, froom. All right. Um, I love you too, boo. Boom. That's you and him. <laughs> That's you and him. You understand? He not well or something. His shoulder went out or whatever. You get. Okay, baby, I got it. Tyrone, y'all know I just ain't about clone Tyrone. I just use Tyrone all the time <laughs> as my, my man to use an example. Tyrone, which means the son. Go back there and give me that tire. Uh, your daddy ain't gonna do your daddy's his shoulder out. You already know. Give me the tire. I got it. Y'all get back. You understand? Okay, but Tyrone Sr. ain't got no problems. Make sure everything right. Okay. So wifey got my back. Okay. This is a twin flame journey. The night and the damsel. Because he's going to always give to you what you gave to him. So you are, you are manifesting a man just like you. Your twin flame. Everything about your shadowy side that you can't stand or you try to hide. He love it. He's going to help you cultivate it. Into your light. In that oneness. You understand? And, and vice versa in you and him. You doing so that. You doing that same thing for him. You're on a twin flame journey. Brother.